Hello. Welcome back to Summer Sea. Okay, we shall go to... Let me check my amount of fuel. Since we're so close to Iron Republic, we're going to restock uh, fuel in Iron Republic and then we will head on all the way towards King Eater's Castle. We'll drop by Argo first. Our cats and then to King Eater's Castle. We are back in Aiko and I have a trist. Sure. Yep, thank you. And let's uh, assemble a port report. Hmm. I can gain acquaintance at Aiko. Hmm. Is this random? Like some of this... I've played this game for so long, but some of these qualities is still... Like the numbers that goes behind is still a mystery to me. Okay, let's uh, help sort needles, I guess. I get... I have 20 needles for tasks now. I still can't do anything much. Yeah. I still have no idea how to progress with Igo. Maybe I need to use the needles at other places. Maybe. Let's try using it at Dahut next time because I remember there being that option in Dahut. Okay, let's go on top and we'll go to our cats. We are going to sell a Sunfield Mirror Catch box and we're gonna get some red honey. In the Isle of Cats, let's get port reports and then sell the sunlight. Yeah, sunlight, that most dangerous of pleasures. Here in Port Cavendish, there's an appetite for dangerous pleasures. But will you be able to negotiate with the sippers of sunlight? 75% sure. I failed! Uh, smoke and mirrors in the back rooms and cellars in tangles behind warehouses. You make careful arrangements. The deal is only to take place at second hand. Your intermediary will meet theirs. Unfortunately, their intermediary palms off yours with an empty crate. Not the original mirror catch box. Your 500 echoes richer, but you need another box if you're to do this run again. Ah, oh, okay. At least I get money. Hmm. Okay, let's uh buy a shipment of red honey. Yep. Okay, I think that's all we could do here. Yep, yep. Okay, now off to King Ether's castle we go. <laughs>
Okay, we are back at King Eater's castle. Let's get a port report first. And then here. Read your sigil ridden navigator of his troublesome humanity. He lies on the slab. He hands you the knife. The right. The power that presides over King Eater's castle bears witness. Your pack is not with it, but with your navigator's sigil. You open him up and remove the parts he doesn't need anymore. He laughs in exultation as each one goes wetly into the stone basin. You carve six more copies of the sigil inside him, then close him up. He sits, smiles, stands, speaks. Thank you, citizen. I am at home. The thing that follows you back to your ship is not the navigator, but it has his skills and his face. Though the right half is blotted by the sprawling sigil, the crew edge away. Isn't that fascinating? I also gain an accountably package. Nice! I no longer have a sigil written navigator, I now have a sigil eaten navigator. At King Eater's castle, your sigil written navigator met his end. A sigil eaten navigator accompanies you now. Isn't that fascinating? We remove parts of him that he no longer needs. And it carves sigils inside of him. We did something to him. Something terrible. Let's speak with him now and see what happens. Yep, nothing happens. Speak with your navigator. I. Yes. Yes. Now it's good. Thank you. I cannot even increase my mirrors anymore. Fascinating. Uh, let me see. Okay, I know I need a port report from King Eater's Castle for the Song of the Sea. Uh, let me check. King Eater's Castle. I think I might need one from Chevrolet or Empire of Hands. I don't remember. I need one from Iron Republic. I think Khan's Heart of Khan's Glory, I need those two. Grand Geo. Irem, I need for sure. Mount Palmerston. Yes, I need Port Cecile too. Let's go to Khan's... Uh, to get a port report here. I don't remember which one is it that I need. Let me go Port Cecile. Let me go Dahut to try and rescue the prisoner. And then we'll go Irem, Chapel of Lights, Mount Palmerston, then go back. And that should be the journey for this time. back in Khan's heart. Does my glorious reputation with London affect anything? Apparently not so much, I think. Uh, let's get a port report. And then let's get... Uh, hmm, find out what your spy needs. Vital intelligence. Uh, your cunning is required. This you need your personal attention. Let's try this. I feel not quite exceptional. An easy mistake. Anyone could have made it. You can't be expected to keep track of everything, but now someone's keeping track of you. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. I have a good reputation with the Khan. Okay, let's wander Khan's heart then. Yep, Shrine of Deep Blue Heaven, Lost Terror. That's good. I think that's it. Let's, let's pay a 
storyteller. The fall of Karakoram. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I think I've read this before as well. Okay, let's go on to Khan's Glory to get the port report there as well. Because I'm not sure which one is it that uh, the Song of the Sea needs. I just remember it being Khan's Heart or Khan's Glory. But we'll get both just in case. It's a pity we cannot check the requirements uh, when we are not in our mansion or study. I'm only here for. Hey, I don't. I can't get a port report here. Really? Oh, that must be Khan's heart then. Okay. Yeah, let's do the Taiwan thing. Yep. Lost two menaces. I have a lot of uh, drowning pearls for you. Okay, get one more. And then we will do this again. Complete your case with Taiwan. Yep. Lost four menaces. Nice. Okay, I'm glad that the London reputation for me does not affect that. We'll drop by Port Cecile for the port report and then we'll go to Dahut. back in Dahut. Okay, let's uh, stay a while. Mm -hmm. And then we shall... Uh, let's do the same things again. Look for other visitors. And search for secret places of Dahut. And then we shall... Investigate the crypt of the Great Cathedral. Yeah, seeking a prisoner. Uh huh. Gain one length of stay. And then. I think investigate the calendar might be the one. I'm not sure. Okay, let's investigate the calendar. We succeeded times and dates. And then can get a port report now because it's uh it's very good. There's no other things now. I can consume a needle of photas. The point is sharp enough to end dreams. This will reduce both entrapment and clarity. Borrowed regrets. The needle brings you the memory of a long ago theft, an engagement ring stolen from a corpse as it lays in its coffin. Shame and jealousy. Set in a dusty parlor. The recollection belongs to a time and place much more real than the hood. Interesting. A lost five clarity and entrapment. I have to do a bit more. Let's consume another needle of Fortas. Okay, it's the same one. Oh, it's a different one this time though. Consider attending the liturgy of souls. The drownings nibble sugar bones and the doors of the cathedral are open for the only time in the year. Uh-huh, let's let's just do this. For the story. Like we'll keep revisiting until we can do the prisoner thing again. The last of the festivals, oh? The cathedral is dark, except for candles that do not nearly illuminate its upper reaches. The drownies gather in the choir stalls to sing. They sing about graves they will never inhabit, 
about the renown of a good death. The floor is strewn with drowning pearls. What? Liturgy of souls. All the drownings are gathered. You do not belong here since you are still human, but they do not keep you out. Where the altar should be, there is a square depression in the floor. It would be a pool were the cathedral not already submerged. A drowning in a meter presides. What? Keep awake, awake. Inches burn away from the candles. Reddish smoke from the sensors diffuses into the water. Time is passing and not passing. Oh my clarity! Because my clarity is low, is that why? Oh no. I can see your part in the liturgy, but I don't have drowning hymn or drowning love song. Shit, 20% chance. Hopefully I don't die. I did fail. A liturgy of complexity. The liturgy is unbearably long and inscrutably complicated. It includes a list of the names of ships that have sunk in the vicinity of Mount Palmerston, the scientific appellation of every moth with irigo in its wings, the true name of an infamous crocodile, a recounting of persons who have consumed the spores of the utter shroom, an assortment of herbs, together with their growing seasons and medicinal applications. That's really random. Long before it ends, you have fallen into a numb half-sleep. You come to yourself with the procession filing out, but you remember one large secret and several obscure hints. Clarity is gone, entrapment is gone. Gain one secret, 100 fragments. Okay, that's still not too bad. Uh, let's just leave, I guess. Let's go to Irem and get the port report, Chapel Lights and then Mount Palmerston. Okay. We'll drop by uh, Estival for supplies too. Chapel of Light. Uh, okay. Uh, let's gather intelligence and then let's uh, attend a service at the chapel. The great bell tolls. The few and ragged faithful gather in the rosy light of Saint Cerise. Bring your offerings. Five supplies. There were three descents the priest confides before the betrayal. The first descent was that which was given for that which was promised. The drowned man makes no promise to us. He gives us only lessons. For the second, the hunters of echoes remembered the ways of sunlight and learned the stories of the heart. The drowned man's heart was flens and we will taste it. The third, oh, the treacherous walkers of the river's shadow. They snared the echo hunters. This began the chain of tales which concluded in the drowned man's first feast. So praise that treachery. The priest speaks of cities fallen and stories risen. These are the times the earth opened. His red faith rose in the times after. A shadow figure watches from the darkest corner of the apse. The worshippers studiously ignore it. Okay, I've gained the Saint Cerise's lesson. Okay, can I do that some more? I can, and it's, it's a different one too. Attend a service at the chapel. The great bell tolls. The few and ragged faithful will gather 
as was appointed by Saint Destin. Bring your offerings. Oh, and the colony package is three. I can probably do this one more time then, since I have four. The lesson which is not. The priest smiles. He snuffs a translucent candle with a cap rod. He bows his head and leaves you alone in the chapel. False starlight gleams on the glass pale floor. No one comes. No one sits in the pews beside you. No one stands by the altar and speaks of the opening of the gate and the anger of the flukes and the cold machinations of the whites. No one is brown as bone and eyeless as a desert. No one gives you a secret. When you leave, you have heard no one speak. But I somehow got a secret. Gain 10 terror eye. My terror is still pretty manageable. Okay. I can do this one more time then. There. Uh, the great bell tolls. The ragged faithful gather for Saint Urzuli. Cheeks flush, eyes gleaming. Bring your offerings. Do not attend unless you are eager for the red rites of the inner god. 73%. Okay. I succeeded. The desires of the heights, the priest declares, are mirrored in the depths. Do you recall how it came to that place? And they sang of their lightnings and shapeful disgrace. And it tilted our veins and ennobled its spires. They welcome it then and commingle all choirs. The priest lets the rope fall from the amber flesh of his shining shoulders. Now, he declares, now, O thou faithful, we shall commingle our choirs and then we shall feast. You are naked? I got a Searing Enigma. Gain one secret, lost five supplies. Gain ten terror. Okay. I've gained one un unaccountably package. Oh. Oh. I can do this again, but I'm super low on supplies, though. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Uh, get supplies in nearby Mount Palmerston first. And then we'll come back for the next bit. Okay, let's eat all the chapel's bounty because my hunger is pretty high. Yep. And then let's go to Mount Palmerston real quick to restock, get port reports, and then we'll be back. <coughs> Chapel of Lights. Here, attend a service at the chapel. The great bell tolls. A handful of worshippers gathers for St. Fortigan's Feast. Bring your offerings. 61%. Can I raise this? I need more pages. Pages 1, 2, 3. Really? Okay, uh, who raises my pages again? Is it the surgeon? I think you... Oh, it's only up till 100. I see. We do hearts. Who raises my... She... No, not you. You? That's hearts too. I need... Pages. Pages? You are veils. Okay. Uh, you? Iron? Who raises my pages? How about you? 
Uh, you are fails. That's fails as well. Mirrors. I need pages. She raises mirrors as well. Do none of you raise pages? She's also hearts. Can't be. Like, these don't... The mascots don't... The mascot? Oh, it's just a bloody gun. Never mind. Yeah, the mascots don't do anything. I have never been able to raise my pages with my... Through my officers. That's interesting. And I think... None of them can do can raise my stats anymore either. Yeah, it's all locked except for the chief engineer. Yeah, because my stats are too high right now. Yeah, it's all locked. But let me double check. Yeah, it's all locked. Oh. You locked as well. Because I do have secrets. I do have secrets, I just can't use them anymore. That's what I noticed too. It's only with the tireless mechanic that I can still do it for veils. Up to 150. Yeah, it's only with the tireless mechanic. Interesting. Maybe if I finish the gunnery, uh, if the irrepressible cannoneer's quest, he will be able to uh, do more with iron. Because I can't right now. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I haven't checked as well. Uh, are you better than the merciless bodies? Mirrors plus 9, Veils plus 5, that's 14. You're definitely better than her. Mirrors and Veils. Iron, Veils, and Hearts. Yeah, go up there. Okay. Okay, I think that's... I only have one cook. Chief Engineer, he's the best, I think. I think he's the best one. Unfortunately for Surgeon, she's the best as well. 14. Yeah, she's the best for... Do any of you add pages? Okay, he adds pages. Just for now. Gunnery officer. I only have one gunnery officer. Unfortunately. Who adds pages? She adds pages. You don't add pages. Okay, you go up there. Surgeons, first officer, chief engineer. Okay, none of you add pages, that's fine. So now my pages should be a little bit higher. Let's see. It's still it's a five percent more. It's five percent more, but still better than nothing. Let me scum save. And let's do that again. Uh, the Great Bell Tolls. A handful of worshippers gathers for St. Fortigan's Feast. Bring your offerings. Yep. Let's load that again. Okay, let's do this again. There. I succeeded. Away with the wolves. Sclera, the priest intones. Nimbus noctis animus. As you listen, your eyes cloud with darkness. He is a stumped shape in the murk. If the sun is his master, let the sun be sunken. Let the currents rush in. And the strange winds and particle trades. The wave that trembles and the great curve. He lifts his hand in blessing. 
You who remain, you know that there is no betrayal. The drowned man was torn that he might feed us. The white comes to fulfill the frozen law. The seventh city will never fall, and all of us will live. His words hang in your heart like lanterns. The watcher in the apse lifts its hand. A greeting, a warning, or is it beckoning? Gain a secret, lost five supplies, gain ten terror. Gain one spirit enigma. Lost five mirrors? I still lost mirrors? Damn. Uh, I can do this still. Attend a service at the chapel in the name of Saint Gawain. The great bell tolls. None shall attend but you alone. You need to bring no offering but yourself. Speak the words the priest demands. 52% chance. I succeeded. Words rise from the lessons you have learned. Now we have the wax, which is the streak beneath our skin, and the wick, which is the fate we have skein, and the tinder, which is the harm we have done to those who loved us, and the flint, which is the name, the name, the treasure of music still. Now it will hurt. You must render ourselves a little. There will be scars. But one more scar, what is that? Yes, the priest agrees. He smiled broader than ever. You will be a candle for us all. Gain one secret, gain ten terror. Again, St. Gawain's lesson. Oh, invitation to a beheading. The priest leads you to the altar. That hollow for offerings at its edge. If you knelt, it would fit your neck precisely. Someone is standing at the back of the chapel, drapes stir, a sword glitters, you cannot see their face. I can kneel at the priest's invitation or flee. If I kneel, place your head in the hollow, await the blade and your death, and you may become a candle for the multitude, or I flee. This has gone far enough. You are steeped in crimson prayers, but you will not give yourself up. Ah, but is the beheading... I feel like the beheading might just be a more symbolic thing. Let's try. Uh, kneel at the priest's invitation. Place your head in the hollow, await the blade, and your death, and you may become a candle for the multitude. A kneel you. After the sacrifice, when the captain's neck has been cleanly surveyed and their blood pooled on the steps, the pitying process begins. The outer Intergument is peeled away and their bones, organs, muscles removed. This remnant will be given false life with the glyphs, so that it may wait with a bright sword in the chapel until one day another sacrifice may come. The old executioner will be retired and given to the sea. The captain's skin will be filled with glory. The attendants will place it in the mold and pour the wax donated by lesser celebrants. The wick will be in place, down through the crown of the head to the hollow of the groin. The priest will recite the lessons once more, and replace the captain's eyes in the skin of the sockets for the living wax to grasp them. The odour of searing will fade. The woman from the second city will coax the flesh with oils until it resembles life. The glyphs will be imparted and the chest will heave with false breath. At last, you will rise and take your name. You will leave the chapel in the shape of the captain and take your place aboard the captain's ship. No one will ever know. The differences will be invisible. Perhaps one day a sweetheart will trace the scar around your neck and ask laughingly, were you once beheaded? And you will shrug and answer, only once. Oh my god. I'm not the same person anymore. Holy shit! Do I want this outcome though? I've gained 7 secrets though. Now I have 9 of this. Memoirs, Lessons of the Chapel. I got beheaded. A new you. Is it still me though? Okay, let's continue first. What happens if I 
don't do that. Let me load. Did I save before that? I think I did. But let me check. What if I don't do that? Okay, the same Gawain one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Here, I succeeded. Okay. Here. What if I flee? This has gone far enough. You are steeped in crimson prayers, but you will not give yourself up. Out into the darkness, the bell's clangor shakes the night, drowning the priest's cries of rage. You saw what waited in the chapel, the brown bone, skinless, eyeless scarecrow, tattered into tendon gristle. Sword still clutched firmly as it shuffled forward, skull glyphs ablaze, you will not become that. Okay, gain terror, gain a searing enigma. This might be better. Okay, what else can I do? I think that's all the stories in the chapel of light. I'm I'm more comfortable with that option. Me being still me instead of being replaced by something strange and controlled by the chapel of light. Uh, we can still eat of the chapel's bounty. And I think that's um on the company package hasn't changed because it's higher than zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we still have all of our uh, unaccountably package, I think. I cannot check here. But I think I'm more comfortable with uh, me not being replaced by something strange. So... I think that's all we could do here. My terror is really super high though. Oh my god. Um... This does not reduce my terror. Where can I reduce my terror? I don't know. I can kill things to reduce terror. That much is true. But the only thing around this area that is the that moving mountain. There's nothing else here that I can kill. Hmm. There are crabs in Estival that I can kill. Hmm. Hmm. There's nothing near Nuncio either. Let's go to Estival and kill some crabs. And let's pray that nothing super bad happens. Yeah, yeah, my terror is too high. Why are you here, Mao Nomad? No. I don't want to kill Mao Nomad now. I'm gonna kill some crabs. And then we are going to head on back to London. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we are gonna do. The Screaming Sage. Captain, I dream of that engine. I dream of the sage it is called Screaming Captain. I dream of joining him. Let it be so. I can permit the sailor to join the sage in the impeller's heart. Refuse, it will not take another life. I'll speak to the tireless mechanic. He built the thing. He must be able to manage it. What is this? This looks like some floating island.
let's speak to the Tyler's mechanic. He built a thing, he must be able to manage it. I know, I know, it calls to me too. These things will happen. We have employed forces not intended for mortal use. I mean that quite literally. We must take our knocks, he shrugs. He does look regretful. Okay. Oh, I can let it let the Zayla join or refuse. Uh let's refuse. It will not take another life. No. Captain, I must the sun the sun! Your crew subdues the wretched Zayla, and eventually he calms. But the Impeller speaks in your dreams, and in the dreams of your crew, all is not well. All is very far from well. I gained 20 terror, holy shit! I, I just got mutinied just now because my terror was too high. It reached 100. And now I gain more terrors, holy shit. So many things can go wrong in the Antrezi. And that's why I'm going so slowly now, because I have only 15 crew left. I cannot lose anymore. Oh my god. I'm heading to Wisdom to drop off that prisoner, and then I really heading back, I think. There's nowhere else that I need to go. I have all the port reports I need. Yeah, after I drop the prisoner off, I'm going to head straight back because I'm so slow anyway. So, so slow. I I was around Estival, I couldn't find the crabs. I found a lawn fluke. Maybe I should have fought a lawn fluke, but... I think a lawn fluke seems very terror-inducing at the same time, also very tough. So I did not want to fight that lawn fluke, but there was no crab either. So in hindsight, maybe I should have. But we made it. We are back in wisdom and let's hand over a prisoner. Oh no, we'll pay you, the unctuous fellow says. We can always find a use for another pair of hands. We get lonely, you know, lonely. Lonely? What are you going to do with the prisoner? What awaits your prisoner? Someone somewhere is screaming. The unctuous fellow chucks sadly. Gruel on Thursdays. Someone really doesn't like gruel. Is it a Thursday? I don't know. I lost track. Perhaps then the gruel's a little nasty. Thank you for your contribution. Here's your payment. Good day. I gain terror? I gain echoes too. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Okay, port report. Yeah, let's head on slowly back to London. I could do more than just keep you company, she remarks. I do have a little medical training. Oh, it's her again. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing here? You never came aboard. Into the air. You snap wick. No one is here. Only the lamp swings. As if the cabin door had just closed. Or perhaps as if a passing beast had rocked the ship. Lost one terror, but I'm in back in London. Um... 
Let's, uh... Oh, that's 500 echoes though. Let's hide your cargo. There are no laws against red honey in London, but that won't stop the Ministry from seizing it if they find it. I was successful. They tramp around your ship and even dare to rummage through your own cabin, but find nothing. You permit yourself a sigh of relief. I'm not giving them 500 echoes for the honey. I bought it for 600 echoes. I'm going to be making a loss. Okay, got nightmare strength. Mm -hmm. Okay, something has changed underneath. Okay, what I need now is a lot of crew because of the mutiny. Let's go to uh, London and hire on more crew. Uh, Thirty something would be super helpful. Twenty six. Twenty nine. Okay, I think that's all I need. Go to the dry dock. And then we fix the ship. Alright, before we go to submit our port reports, let's just uh, go to our lodgings. Uh, read the morning papers, of course, for the recent news. And then we are going into the study. Do we have everything for the Zong of the Z? No. Because we don't have the Dread Surmise. Poor reports, uh, Irem, King Ethel's Castle, Khan's Hut, yeah, Mount Palmerston, and Port Cecil. We have all of these. All of the treasure. Yes, we need a dread surmise. Oh, it is time, alarming scholar. I'm afraid it is time. We will give him seven Syriac Enigmas. For a dread surmise. Yes, yes. I smell secrets, searing secrets. Share them with me. I am close to something. If you choose this option, the scholar will become permanently unavailable. Okay, let's just do it. Seven Syriac Enigmas for a dread surmise. Delighted laughter. Here, I have the answer. Take it. I have all the answers I will ever need. I'll follow them to Frostfound. You can't come. Don't come. Can't come. Don't come. Can't come. Don't come. Proctors burst in and drag the scholar from his her office. One shakes a sorrowful head at you. Academics, he sighs. They never last. You are left clutching a bundle of scrawled notes. You peep cautiously at the first page. Symbols boil before your eyes. The study seems suddenly terribly bright. No. No! And I have one. Rambling and doom. Scholar's madness. I've lost seven Syrian enigmas and I now have a dread surmise. Gains 15 terror, that's fine. Yeah, I no longer have the scholar. Okay, but now we can go make it. The Zong of the Z. Here. Right, the Zong of the Z. You have assembled a store of lore and a collection of antiquities. Your knowledge of the Z rivals that of any captain of history. Write it all down. This will create the Zong of the Z, which allows you to retire happily if you have the correct ambition, and is a pretty nifty item in its own right. It requires a cabinet, aquarium, Shrine, almanac, and trophy case, which can all be created here in your study. It does need 40 secrets, but I have a lot and I don't really need it anymore. Since the only one that can still increase my stats is the tireless mechanic. So let's go. A final draft. You labor mightily, and a stack of pages rewards your labor. Regard it with pride, it is all your voyages condensed into a handily foldable format. Your publisher suggests an epigraph for you, from the latest amended Bible to emerge from St. Cyrax College. The waters were gathered together, and the floods slept in the sun's blindness, and the depths rose like the moon, in the light at the edge of the sea. 
I've lost 77 memory of distant shores, lost 77 Z story, lost the port reports, lost 40 secrets, now have one song of the sea, yep, lost all these things. That's it. I think that's it. That's the Zong of the Z. Now let's look at it in a hole, perhaps. Uh, where is it? Where is the Zong of the Z? There. Equips to auxiliary. <gasps> For this, they will all remember you. Oh, it adds 10 to all of my stats. <gasps> the 40 secrets was totally worth it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, now we have all slots attached. We have the Devil Bone dice that I got from Mount Palmerston for the second Memento Mori for this one. I still don't know what to do with the Mount Nomad's heart. But we have gotten the song of the Z. Um, that thing, that engine that you can make. Construct the Serpentine. I can do this, a weapon of revenge. I will set my enemy at the heart of an engine. I will make of him a beast of burden, but I'm going to need a dry dock and some money. Yeah. Let's just make it for the story. Uh, is it in the dry dock? Let's go to the dry dock. Here. Construct the Serpentine. The magician was supervised to work himself at night. Okay, 1200 echoes. I have a lot of echoes. Do it. The Serpent's Prison. I have set him within a cage of fire. He can look all he likes. He can rage all he wants. His hungers will drive us across the sea. And now the Serpentine. There he is. A shimmering complexus of steel and glass. In its heart, a serpent king rages. Or so the magician claims. Fuel efficiency plus 10%, engine power 1008, hearts 5, veils 5. Uh, the fusion impeller is... Fuel efficiency is 50%, engine power is 5000. The engine power seems a lot more worth it than this one. Stats is also plus 10 in total. Yep. Fusion Impeller is still better. Maybe we will find a different use for the Serpentine. Since it is an item and... Sometimes these items have other uses. Like the Memento Mori, you can sell it to different like factions. So there might be a use for the Serpentine as well. We finished a lot of things this voyage. We finished the story in the Chapel of Lights. We got the Zong of the Z. Uh, we finished the story in Port Chameleon. We fought a new thing near the Dawn Machine. We don't need to go back to Adam's Way. Uh, we also finished the Officer's Quest in King Eater's Castle. Which reminds me, I should uh, slot back in the officers that I want. Which is the Indomitable Campaner. The Sigil Eaton Navigator and yeah, I think the Chief Engineer, I prefer him. Yep, yep, yep. So this is my ideal setup. What is left to do is the Igo. Still not sure what to do with Igo. Uh, Station Tree to finish the Memento Mori. Probably in the next episode. The hood definitely. And I think that's it. That's all the stories left. I did not expect to finish the story in Chapel of Lights so fast. So you only need up till five. We can definitely go back to uh, Adam's Way and try to see uh, as if you dine as a guest, uh, as an honored guest instead of a regular guest. What is the different text story for it. But aside from that, there's not a lot left to do. I also need to go back to Iron Republic to try and get the other Dread Surmise. 
so that's the only that's pretty much the only things that's left. Memento Mori, I go the hood for the prisoner. Yeah. I think that's it. That's all the stories left. I have one more thing to do before I go forward with uh my ambition in Scream Shander and I will tell you when I'm finished with all the stories in the other pods. So until next time. <laughs>